throw a gun! Show me your hands, I saw you throw a gun! Get on the ground! On January 20th, 2023, police in Fort Lauderdale, Florida were dispatched to investigate a disturbance in a residential neighborhood. The wanted suspect is around 5'10 and wearing a black shirt. When officers pulled up to the house, they were surprised to see cars, dirt bikes, and quads lining the street as if the entire neighborhood was at this house. The moment Officer DePerna stepped out of his squad car, he's met face to face with an individual matching part of the description. And when the individual recognizes a police officer, he bolts in the opposite direction. In a second, Officer DePerna gets a hold of the man until his partner calls out, drawing his attention towards the correct suspect. And from this moment, the chase is on. Yeah, black shirt, black shirt! Please stop! He just threw a gun! He just threw a gun! Come on, stop! Get him! I saw you throw a gun. Just when it seems the chase is over, the suspect makes an unexpected and horrible decision because his next escape route from their current position here is down the sidewalk over the back fence and straight into a children's party. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Yeah. Hey, Trevor! It's my baby. It's my baby. Oh. Get on the ground! Give me your hands! Give me your hands! Hey, he threw a gun somewhere over here. Oh my god, I got your gun. What are you doing? Throwing a gun around these kids. I was not gun. An instant replay of the chase uncovers three important moments. The first being when the suspect reaches into their pants to take out a mystery object. Then in the top left hand corner in just a moment you can see the individual's outstretched right hand swing quickly to the left and launching an item while still in full sprint. Then as the chase moves around the house a bystander takes off chasing after the suspect and effectively blocking their exit, allowing Officer DePerna to make the final tackle. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, appreciate you. Same again. Yeah, Northwest. However, the question remains what did the man throw into the child's birthday party? What'd you throw, man? You say it's not a gun. What? Drugs. Drugs. Yeah. In, a, in a black shaped thing? Yeah. Or in a black color thing, where that? I do it when I was on going over that gate. Seriously, so, so you know how stupid that is? You pulled a black object out of your cop, out of your pants, turned towards a cop, and then threw it while he's chasing. Yeah, because it was filled up. Either See, way. Look. Yeah, it was. Because you kept up. trying to say it's not a gun. Yeah. To me, it looked like a gun. No, it was no gun. I just had dope. I'm not gonna lie to you. In either case, weed and weapons are not good items to throw at a children's party. But what Officer DePerna finds next confirms just how badly this criminal screwed up. Best cop in America to get found with dope. Because I don't give a shit about dope. And now you gotta go for everything, dude. Make me chase you to a child's party. Pull my gun out, because I don't know what the hell you're doing. Yeah, but sir, just, just, just charge me for fleeing, sir. No, you're getting everything now, dude. What I'm getting. Can't count that high. Yeah, we just secure the bikes real quick. We're finding the he's he's saying it was drugs, something right along this area. Hey, you saw, you go look. I'll bring him to the car. Get up, bro. Once the suspect is in custody, the search begins. And as parents come outside to help in the search, it's none other than the hero of the foot pursuit saving the day once again and discovering the mystery object. Yeah, he threw it good. He launched it. Yeah. I knew I saw a gun. God damn it. Signals are recovered. Great job, sir. Appreciate you. 
Caught lying about throwing drugs, Officer DePerna heads to his squad car for questioning. And as he does, he figures out who the man is and his shocking criminal history. Alright man, what's your name? Freddie Meyer. F.R. A-B-B-I. 30-year-old Freddie Myrick, having just returned from a 10-year prison sentence, he is out on bond, and with past charges of grand theft firearm, possession of firearms, and highway racing, Freddie is now facing another wave of potential felony charges. And your last name? Myrick, M-Y-R-I-C-K. You been arrested before? Yeah, I'm out on bond. Out on bond? What were you arrested for? Um, a battery and a gun charge. Battery and a gun charge? Do you have any convictions? Yes, sir. Alright. Oh, no. Give me a second. Just before Officer DePerna goes to speak with witnesses, he takes the opportunity to remind Freddy of just how stupid his actions were. Hold on. Why the f would you tell me it's drugs when there's a children's party walking around? Any one of those kids could have walked up, picked up the gun, started playing with it, and guess what? Now I gotta choose between shooting a four year old kid and trying to tackle him and losing my life. What the f is wrong with you? I'm gonna be honest with you, sir. Legitimately, I've only been a cop for three years. That is probably the stupidest thing I've ever seen done. Yeah, but I, I did it because you know, I did this my mom, but, but you know, when we ride, the guys be trying to goddamn take our bikes. So I grabbed my mom's gun so I could defend myself. Guys are trying to take bikes? The bikes in question are souped up dirt bikes and quads with illegal parts and modifications used to street ride. The same bikes that tip police off to their suspect's exact location in front of the neighborhood home. Officer DePerna then gently reminds Freddy that these bikes are not a good look for criminals out on bond. Well, it's, it's not legal to be driving it anyway. So why ride it in the first place when you're out on bond? So why ride it? Now you're riding it with a stolen gun while you're a convicted felon. It's not a stolen and then, gun. And then the police stop you. All we're going to do is take your bike if you don't run. That's all we're doing. But now you ran, now you gotta go. And then instead of, and then a million times, like I said, because I knew it was a fucking gun. I, I trusted you and I shouldn't have. When, I, when you said it was drugs, I said maybe I saw it wrong. But I knew it was a gun. Then you go out and you take the gun out of your pocket while a police officer's chasing you. Like, I could have shot you in the back of the head. Yes, sir. Like, why I fucking do that? Because I would be, because you know, sir, I'm, I really, I didn't want to go back. You know, I just did 10 years. And for what? What'd you do 10 years for? When I was younger, me and my brother went and did a, a robbery. Okay. All right. You got to give me a minute. Let him relax for a minute. Then I'll roll the window down for him. But just before Officer DePerna can bring Freddie to the station, a surprise witness of the event speaks up, and it's none other than the owner of the weapon, Freddie's mother. He runs from us and throws a gun into a children's party. I, 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 I can't fly. Any one of those kids could have walked up and picked up the gun. Now I gotta choose between getting shot by a kid accidentally or shooting a kid. I, that ain't right. Even in shock of what her son did, she soon makes her own unexpected move and one only a mother could make for a son that is likely facing a lengthy prison sentence. I'll, I'll take the money for the gun. No, it's, no, you can have a gun in your house, but you can't. You gotta have a son that's being responsible and not steal it from it. To go ride around and do stupid it, stuff. Though. But he took it from you without you knowing. Know, right? Yeah, I that can't say without me knowing it because, you know, well, I have the guns in the house to protect you. What do you want? So don't charge him with that gun. Police. You got to charge him with the gun. He threw a gun into a children's party while he's running from the police. That's family. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. It's, it's not like strangers. But do, do the children know what a gun is? The little no, four year old. Then when he's running, he's shoving kids out of the way. What if he's walking right there and somebody else shoves your damn kid? What the hell would you do? You'd, you'd be more than I would. Right? I even got him to admit from what he did, he turned him off, hopped his chase him, pulled the gun out, looked back holding a gun, and then threw it. How many times on my camera of him doing the gun like that would people get mad if I shot him? There might be people mad, but then they see the video and be like, he pulled a gun on a cop and threw it. So in the I'm, end, you're walking I'm, I'm away with your son that didn't that didn't get shot when he pulled the gun on the cops. Like, I hop out. Following the incident, Freddie Myrick is facing one count of carrying a concealed firearm and one count of possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. But before he goes to jail, he has one final request for Officer DePerna. Uh, I don't know. 
Yeah, that was tight, man. Give me a second. Hey, sir, sir. Uh -huh. It's in the way because my leg, I can't really bend my leg. It's the far as I could bend it, so I, it's, it's hard. Well, lean, that, lean, like, lean up on the glass that way. That'll give you more room. 